Elite Facts presents 10 times science was wrong. 10. Heavy drinking kills brain cells. Let's start off the list with something light. So, one of the most common theories that still fools people to this day is the theory that heavy drinking kills brain cells. Overdrinking is not the only way alcohol kills brain cells. It can also kill them from a deficiency of thiamine for those getting most of their calories from alcohol and for very heavy drinkers from excitotoxicity, nerve cells being killed from overabundant neurotransmitter presence when dropping alcohol cold turkey. It's true that everything is best in moderation, even when it comes to detox. 9. Geocentrism Okay, let's move on to some more complicated theories that have since been debunked. Theories such as the geocentric universe. The theory behind the geocentric universe is that the Earth was pretty much of the dead center of the universe. This theory dates back to at least 600 BC with Greek philosophers who proposed cosmologies of the sun, moon, and other heavenly bodies orbiting the Earth. The most famous contortion of the system was Ptolemy's epicycles to explain the retrograde motion of Mars. This is a prime example of fitting scientific evidence into preconceived notions. The theory was disproven with the publication of Nicholas Copernicus's De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium in 1543. 8. Miasmatic Disease Theory Next up, we have a theory that's still somewhat debated to this day, even though the evidence has proven this theory false. Miasmatic Theory of Disease This theory holds that diseases such as cholera, chlamydia, and the Black Death were caused by a miasma, ancient Greek for pollution, a noxious form of bad air. Now, you'd think this theory would have been disproven early on considering how there was no real evidence to back it up back then other than the scientists of that era putting two and two together and coming down with a single conclusion. While this theory wasn't debunked until the late 1800s with the rise of the germ theory of disease, miasma was considered to be a poisonous vapor or mist filled with particles from decomposed matter that caused illnesses. It was identifiable by its foul smell. 7. Static Universe Theory Next up, we have a debunked theory by well-established theoretical physicist Albert Einstein. The static universe, which is also referred to as stationary or Einstein universe, was a model proposed by Albert Einstein back in 1917. This theory proved to be very problematic from the get-go. Edwin Hubble's discovery of the relationship between red shift obliterated it by completely demonstrating that the universe is constantly expanding, thus debunking Einstein's theory. 6. Drink 8 glasses of water a day Okay, let's dive back down to something on more of a human level. Okay, so everyone has probably mentioned this to you at some point in your life. Whether it's doctors, fitness trainers, and even scientists, we've all been told to drink enough water. At least eight glasses of water a day to be exact. Now, don't get us wrong, water is the best drink out there in terms of keeping fit and healthy. However, the whole you must drink eight glasses a day thing is an overly generalized rule. Our bodies get the required water from food content, from beverages we drink like tea or fruit juice. Also, it should be noted that not every human body is identical. It doesn't take a genius to realize that. With that in mind, everyone has different requirements in terms of how much water they should be taking in. While one person may need only a few glasses, the other who works out for hours may need more glasses. Your water needs depend on the activities you're performing, your environment, its temperature, and many other variables. 5. Young Earth Theory Next up, we have a theory that originated back in the mid-1800s. The Young Earth Theory is something that was theorized by many scientists at the time, including Lord Kelvin. This theory centers around the idea of the Earth being just 20 million to 40 million years old. It was around that time that geologists such as Charles Lyell began to believe that the Earth was much older, and this conformed to the views of biologists such as Charles Darwin, who needed a much older Earth for evolution to unfold. It wasn't until the middle of the 20th century that scientists came to the accepted conclusion today that the Earth is about 4.55 billion years old. 4. Luminiferous Aether the aether, or ether if you'd prefer to pronounce it and spell it like that, was a mysterious substance that was thought to transmit light through the universe. 
The idea of a luminiferous aether was debunked as experiments in the diffraction and refraction of light, and later Einstein's special theory of relativity came along and entirely revolutionized physics. 3. Expanding Earth Theory our modern understanding of the interior and behaviors of the Earth is strongly based around plate tectonics and the concept of subduction. However, for the longest time this wasn't the case. It was only widely accepted in the late 20th century. Prior to the tectonic plates theory being accepted as fact, it was widely believed by a good number of scientists that the Earth was instead forever increasing in volume rather than it being the more logical tectonic plates theory. The expanding Earth hypothesis stated that phenomena like underwater mountain ranges and continental drift could be explained by the fact that the planet was gradually growing larger. As the globe size grew, proponents argued, the distances between continents would increase, as would the Earth's crust, which would have explained the creation of new mountains. This theory has plenty of history behind it, as at the beginning of its conception many well-established scientists have had a part in reaching into it. Charles Darwin briefly tinkered with it before casting it aside, and Nicholas Tesla, who compared the process to that of the expansion of a dying star. 2. Pluto is a planet Not too long ago, Pluto lost its right to be called a planet. However, a lot of people didn't seem to get the memo about its demotion and still believe that we live in a nine-planet solar system. The question here, however, is this. Why is Pluto suddenly a dwarf planet now? Well, Pluto never really fit in with the rest of the planets. It is far smaller than all of the other rocky planets. As our telescopes got better, we started discovering more and more objects that were similar to Pluto in size. Should they be counted as planets too? Everything would have been fine as long as we didn't find one object which is bigger than Pluto. However, that is exactly what happened when we discovered Eris. So a decision had to be made. If Pluto is a planet, so is Eris and most likely a few others too, which means that even if we still kept it as a planet, the nine-planet solar system model would still be obsolete. That's why it was demoted to dwarf planet, along with Eris, Ceres, Humea, and Mega Mega. Why do they give these planets such hard-to-pronounce names? And it is highly likely that they are not alone. We already have hundreds of other potential candidates that need to be confirmed. However, we still think it's unfair that we've singled out Pluto. Pluto deserves better, damn it! We reckon we should start petitioning for Pluto. Why single it out now? Hashtag justice for Pluto. Hashtag Pluto is a planet. Hashtag Jerry Smith was right all along. 1. Flat Earth Oh boy, this theory. Okay, so at the time of when it was theorized, it's understandable. However, would you believe that people genuinely believe that the Earth is still flat to this day? Obviously, half of those people are just joking. However, the other half are dead serious about that theory. Anyway, the Earth is not flat. While there's a popular belief that flat Earth was somehow a widely held scientific idea, Greeks such as Aristotle knew the Earth was round, as did Thomas Aquinas. In short, most scholarship suggests learned men and women from the dawn of antiquity knew the Earth was round, so science gets a pass on this one. And that's our list. Did we miss any time that science was wrong that you know about? Let us know in the comments below. Please remember to subscribe and tap the bell button to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more elite facts. Oh,